hey welcome back to my channel and um as you can see the shades are back i didn't feel like putting on no makeup so here we are but um i know y'all seen that tamar and k michelle things starting to get a little spicy between them so child we gonna talk about it <laughs> so many of you probably do not know but i am a fan maybe even a stan of kimberly michelle pate Okay, I love K Michelle. That is my girl. When I tell you the zero fucks given mixtape, it gives me superpowers. Okay, like if I'm listening to that, beware. Don't play with me. Do not try me when I'm listening to that mixtape. It get active. Okay, it get a little crazy. <laughs> like, I love her. I've gone to see her. I went to see her when she was doing her um album signing when she did more issues than vogue and i met her and i got to talk to her a little bit i was super shy i was like oh my God, i love you girl I, love you. I was real shy she was so nice she was so sweet that is my girl okay when k michelle was on love and hip hop and she was mad at carly red and she said her hair is messy her clothes are messy her jewelry is fake her ass is wopsided she should deal with that first she had me. She had me at that part. I loved her ever since then. Ever since that line, I was like, this is my girl. I love her. Okay, it's kind of like what Candace was like, geriatric granny, I don't play with old women. I, she had me then, right? And K. Michelle had me and when she was calling Carly Red's ass lopsided. She was like, she don't even have a Wikipedia page. I Googled her and a vinegar popped up. <laughs> I love me some Kimberly Michelle Pate, okay? I love that lady. Now, I also love me some Tamar Esteem Braxton. She is also my girl. That girl is hilarious. She is, she is crazy. She says the most off the wall stuff. I love her and she sings down, okay? That voice, that throat is anointed. That girl can really sing. I love her. That Love and War album, that Love and War album. That was my, that like, baby, I wore that album out. Okay, now the drama that has gone on between them has never stopped me from loving both of them. Okay, I love them both. I can see where both parties have done some stuff and I was like, damn girl, you didn't have to say all of that. You didn't have to say that. You shouldn't have started it. I can, I can love you and tell you when you are wrong. Okay, and they don't know me in real life, so I can say what I want to say. <laughs> but really, when it comes to Tamar and K. Michelle, I can honestly sit here and say that usually it's Tamar who starts it. She starts it and then she be like, kind of like what she doing right now. So recently, Tamar appeared on the We Sound Crazy podcast. Now, I don't really watch their podcast all that much. I usually just see clips. Now, obviously, Candace was on there, so I definitely tuned in for that. And then I think I seen a little part of where they had a tweet on there. And I've seen other clips here and there, right? But for the most part, if you're not familiar with them, it's... These guys, they're in the industry. They critique, you know, music, albums, artists. You know, they just tell their opinion. They keep it real light. It's really a positive space. Like, I've never seen them say nothing that was too out of pocket. Like, they get their opinions, but they usually keep it, you know, respectful. It's not, it's not like some of these other podcasts. They, they're pretty much, you know, they're some nice guys from what I know. Anyways, they asked Tamar what her thoughts were on Cowboy Carter and Beyonce doing country in general. And she gave a cute, you know, media train answer. She's happy that Beyonce is giving exposure to these black country artists and she's doing a damn thing and she really enjoyed it. You know, she ain't say nothing bad. But then after she says all of this, she ends it by saying some of these other black artists that are trying to do country, they should have never done it. It was bad. Blah, 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 blah. Now, when I first heard it, I'm going to be very honest. I didn't know who she was talking about. I didn't know who she was talking about. But then when I started seeing people on social media like, okay, now when that person claps back, don't play innocent, don't play the victim. And then I was like, oh, that's who y'all talking about. I didn't even have to see K. Michelle's name. When they pointed out the shade, I was like, oh, you talking about K. Okay, yeah, this is, might not be too good. This might not be good. So 
K Michelle been talking about wanting to do country since like 2016 and she's been doing it like she's been doing the things making her rounds working with people putting out a couple of songs here and there putting out snippets there and there i feel like that more issues than vogue album you could hear the country elements in certain songs so she's been literally trying to make her way into country like in an organic way right and so even when Cowboy Carter was first announced that it was coming out. A lot of people were like, well, damn, how you just going to do that to K. Michelle? She been wanting to do country. Beyonce, why would you do that? You know, the conversation's been happening. So when Tamar said, you know, some of these girls shouldn't have done it. I see why everyone thought that she was trying to shake K. Michelle. And... The problem with Tamar is you have a long history of doing stuff like this. Like you will throw a rock and you hide your hands and you be like, well, how you know I threw it? How do you know I was trying to throw it at you? It might have hit you on your head, but maybe I wasn't trying to hit you in your head. Like you, you do this all the time to the point where some of us who really, really love you, we are tired. We are tired of defending you because you do this all the time. The fans are definitely fanning the flames. They are definitely trying to start something between... I won't even say that they're trying to start something. I do think that, you know, the conversation, the con the many of people that are talking about it, it's not helping the situation. Because at this point, K. Michelle done clapped back. Tamar done clapped back. Somebody done went and found an old interview where... Not an interview, uh, IG Live where Tamar was saying the person who called her a Muppet ate her words because when she saw me in person, she told me how beautiful I was. And K. Michelle posted a picture of a Muppet. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Lord, we can't do this again. We cannot do this again. Like, y'all not tired? Y'all are not tired? <laughs> now, I love Tamar down. I love her down, but there's no way... You did this and said this and didn't think that people were going to speculate on who you were referring to. You know that that's what people do. When you say anything and you don't put a name on it, people are going to speculate as to who you are talking about. You are an artist. You pride yourself on growing up in this industry. You are a Braxton. You have met all the legends. You went to the school of Frank Gatson. Like, you know all the things. And one thing you know, one thing you definitely are familiar with is social media. And you are familiar, like, you know what happens as an artist, right? Didn't we all, like, didn't we all learn in school that anything that you produce is open to interpretation that could be a letter that you wrote to someone a piece of literature that someone writes a song that someone writes a picture that you drew a social media post anything that you put out into the world is open to interpretation you knew when you put that statement out there that people were going to try to mm, let's figure out who she is you knew people were going to try to figure out who you was talking about and you had to know that people were going to be like, oh, is she trying to shake Kay Michelle? It's not a lot of black R&B stars trying to be in country right now. And Kay Michelle been talking about country music since 2016. You had to know that people were going to automatically think you were shading Kay. You knew that. So for you to be like, I didn't say her name. I Tamar. And the problem is, Tamar, you have a long history of doing this. You've done it so many times. Even the original feud that started with Kay. Kay Michelle gets on Love & Hip Hop. She's minding her business. She's telling her story. You want to defend Toya, you insert yourself in something that had nothing to do with you. You question this woman's story and claim of abuse. As a survivor yourself, you went on Twitter and you challenged this woman's story. And you thought, you thought nothing was going to happen. You thought nobody was going to say nothing to you. You thought you was just going to do that and just get away with it. You was dead ass wrong for that shit. The people closest to Toya did not say anything publicly. 
We didn't hear nothing from Love Muse. We didn't hear nothing from um, Danielle, Tiny. Rashida was probably the only person that had to speak on it because she was on the show with K. Michelle and they clashed over the situation. But none of Toya's really good friends said anything publicly. They probably was talking their mess behind the scenes. I'm sure they were. But you was the only one. You stood out there and said something. And then when K. Michelle was tagging you for three years, we didn't see Toya defend you. Not one time. I know she supported you by going to one of your shows, but we didn't see her defend you. You and K. Michelle was going back and forth for three years. And I mean, K. Michelle was tagging you. She was wrapping you up. It was really bad. Sometimes I was like, damn, K., you did not have to say all of that. You want to start that again? We want to, I don't want to go through all of this all over again. Like, it really seems like K. Michelle is trying to chill and live her best country life and just do her and make her money and live her life. Why would you get on? Why would you do that, Tamar? Why? Tamar has since said she was not shading K. Michelle. Even one of the um, co-hosts on the We Sound Crazy podcast has also said, well, she never said K. Michelle's name. But I feel like you was talking about K. Michelle. Why? Because you've done this so many other times to other people. To K. Michelle as well, but to other people too. You do this all the time. You've done it with Monica. You've done it with Tiny. You've done it with Candy. You've done it with Toya. You did it with Claudia Jordan. You've done it so many times to so many different people. All the time. You have a history of it, a documented history of doing things like this. And then when it gets, it goes a little left, then it's like, oh, I didn't even say anything. Why would you just... No, because we're not dumb. Did it to Sierra. You shaded her. She don't even bother nobody. She just be over there with her man singing her songs and, then, and making dance videos. You had to shade her too. You do this all the time and it's just like, I love you so much, but that's the part of you that I just be getting confused by. When I tell you that that feud between K. Michelle and Tamar and Toya and that man. And when I tell you that, I, I did the math and I think it only lasted really three years. It felt like it was so much longer than that though. Because all the things that kept happening and the things that were being said, whoa, it was bad. And there were so many times where K. Michelle tried to extend an olive branch and Tamar didn't want it. Okay, it took Patty LaBelle to come and gather her children and say, y'all not y'all gonna stop this, okay? Auntie Patty ain't, she not having it. She had to come and settle you guys together. And I just don't understand, like, after y'all have this nice performance, the three of y'all on stage, y'all still can't get it to, I, I don't know. It's almost like, Tamar, you can't help yourself. I think that's what it's, it, it, it's giving because it's like, as the way that that ended for you was humiliating. Like, you started this problem with Kay over Toya. Just to fall out with Toya and Toya go to Breakfast Club and say, you weren't really her friend like that. I mean, you went all out of your way to defend Toya and this man. Just for him to go on marriage boot camp and show us that he has the characteristics of an abusive person. Just for him to show us him being aggressive more than once to Toya. You did all of that. You went all out of your way to support them. You had them on your show. When they was in the, the lawsuit situation with Viacom and Mona Scott Young and K. Michelle. All of that. Like, after that, if I was Tamar, I would just never, I would forget that that lady existed. You apologize, she apologized, y'all done moved on. I would just let it go. I wouldn't want nothing else to do with it. Like, the whole thing, in my opinion, was embarrassing. But every couple of sometimes, you be throwing little jabs. You don't put a name on it, but we not dumb. We know what you're doing. It's like, I don't know why you, why are you like that, girl? Do you not enjoy peace? What's really going on? 
In all honesty, I really feel like Tamar's behavior stems from being the youngest in the family. She's the baby of the family. She constantly needs their attention and she wants things to be her way. She was the smallest one, so she wanted to be the bigger one and tell everybody what to do. And it's cool if that's how y'all do things in y'all family, but you want to take that outside of your family and bring it into friend groups and work settings. The real world, it don't work like that. It don't work like that. We've seen so many issues that played out between Tamar and her sisters. They're bringing back Braxton family values. I was very shocked about that because after everything that Tamar went through to get out of her contract with WeTV, I can't even believe that they're signing back up to come. That's one of my favorite shows, so I'm definitely going to be tuned in, but should we be like should this be happening i don't know i don't know because we've seen the behavior on that show right tamar was the breakout star that first season and people loved her okay we ate up all her shenanigans when she was like dot com dot org and my man is totally different like we ate all of that up i love tamar trina's my favorite but i love tamar so I enjoy the shenanigans when it's on a reality show. She has a habit of taking it off the show with her family and bringing it to other people. And, I don't know. I don't know. It's gonna be weird. I'm definitely gonna be watching. I don't know about y'all, but I'm definitely gonna be watching. Um, it was really hard the last couple of seasons um, of Braxton Family Values that aired. The way that Tracy's story played out for us, it was really sad. Like, when Tracy died, y'all, I, I was no good up in this house. I, every time I thought about it, I started crying. Oh, my God. I was so upset. Like, I was so upset. Like, I, you would have thought Tracy was my auntie, the way that I cried for that lady. Oh, my God. I was completely triggered. Um, I guess because she, you know, she died from cancer. My mom died from cancer. But not only that, it was just like the last few seasons of Tracy being on that show were really heartbreaking, at least for me. Like for her to not feel like her sisters had her back, her sisters was rooting for her. It was really hard to watch that. And then, you know, that last season, I think her niece had passed away and she was really struggling with that. That was a lot. That was a lie. If they're going to bring the show back, though, I really hope that it's more positive. I, wish, I hope it's more positive. And I really hope that we see Tamar start to take accountability for the things that she does. Because that's where her, that's what's holding Tamar back. Like, Tamar has the most beautiful voice. But her attitude and her... You like to throw rocks and hide your hands. You like to do those little things. And I think in Tamar's mind, she's so clever. Like, I'm going to do this. No one's going to peep what I'm doing. And I'm going to get away with it. But you don't never get away with it. But you continue to do it. And it just turns people off. But for real, with Tamar, because she is the youngest in the family, I think a lot of times they let her make it. Like, she does things that they don't like. They get a little mad, but then at the end of the day, they let her make it. They don't hold her accountable for what she does. And then when she finally apologizes, it's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I love my sister. And it's like, they never really work through the issue. So it always comes back. It's like a reoccurring theme with Tamar. She does something to someone, they react. She doesn't like the reaction. And then she plays victim. And I was just, and I didn't even, and, and she has a million and one excuses. She's done these things. We've seen it. Like, we've seen it. And me loving her is not going to stop me from saying, I saw it. I will never forget, there was one, I think it was Tamar's birthday. It was her birthday. She invited some guy. The sisters say they don't even know this man. And he went and gave a speech. And he basically was shading the sisters. Like, oh, I know you, Tamar, my whole time. I've known you, Tamar, for so long, and you've always been like this, and don't let nobody tell you that you're acting different, and da-da-da-da-da. Was, was, he was shading the, the sisters. And Tawanda, you know, she gonna say something. And Tawanda was like, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Was that for us? And it became this big blow up, and it was like, Tamar, you got your friend to come over here to shade your sisters, 
And when they caught the shade and addressed the shade, then you start playing victim. Oh, why are you guys mad that he's saying nice things about me? You do this all the time. But when you do it to your sisters, at the end of the day, they love you a little differently than the rest of the world loves you. Uh, the rest of the world don't have to put up with that. The rest of the world can chew you up and they're, gonna have, they're not going to feel bad about it. They're going to go to sleep like a baby. It works for your sisters. It's not going to work with nobody else. That's why when they were like, oh, she needs to come on Real Housewives of Atlanta. No, she don't. She don't need to be on nobody's Real Housewives of nothing. Only type of reality TV shows Tamar needs to do are shows that she's a producer of. She don't need to do no Real Housewives of nothing. She don't need to do none of them type. No, no ensemble cast unless they're her family. That works for her because she could be 100% herself, do her. That's what she needs to be. And I don't say this because I don't enjoy seeing Tamar on TV because I absolutely adore seeing her on TV. I enjoy her. I really do. But it will not serve her well to be amongst other women the way that she likes to do sometimes. It's not going to be nice for her. I love her and I want to see what could happen. But yeah, like I said, I love Tamar down. I do. I want to, want to see the best for her. I love Kay Michelle. I only want to see the best for her. It really looks like she don't want to go to war with you, Tamar. But you know she will. Okay? We don't need another war. We don't need another war. But I really think that Tamar, like, girl, this negative attention that you be seeking, girl, what is that about? Look what happened with the Krishan thing. Let's not do that again. Like, come on. I really love you. Like, you know what? I really think, you know what? I think that Tamar needs to start doing some plays. Like some stage plays, maybe some Broadway, off Broadway, whatever you call it. I really think that she needs to do that. She needs to get in her acting bag a little bit. Because I feel like she's like a kid almost that has all this energy and nowhere to, no, nothing to put to use with it. Like, yeah, you could be on stage. Even that. You saw what happened with Tommy, girl. K. Michelle kept saying, <laughs> one screenshot will end you. And that man that you call your man, he is a up. Uh, I would not be surprised if he didn't slide in K. Michelle's DM. Because that man, he ain't, he not for you, girl. He is not any good. If he tossed Tommy salad after one little fight with you, yeah, that man don't like you, girl. I would not be surprised if he was in K. Michelle's DMs. I wouldn't. Stop shading people. You really need to get into your acting bag, okay? Get into your acting bag and let that be your outlet. Let that be your release for the drama that you crave. Because this girl, you not you 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 gotta stop this. We gotta stop, girl. You are a grown lady. But anyways, y'all, I love Tamar. I love Tamar down. I love K Michelle. Their albums, especially Rebellious Soul and Love and War, they mean so much to me. Like, y'all, they don't even know, like, what I was going through when those albums came out. Like, when I say I really have love for them, I really have love for them. Okay, I was watching them on TV. Throughout my mom's entire illness, I was watching Braxton Family Values and Tamar and Vince, listening to Love and War. Like, when I say they, like, they become a part of your life and you just want to see them do well. I don't want to see y'all fight. I want to see y'all fight. Y'all need to wrap this on up. Because before it gets ugly, wrap it on up. Because the last time I checked the social medias, Tamar was explaining some stuff in the car. Talking about she wasn't talking about her. If she wanted to, she would put a name on it like she did with Candy. You want to wake that up again? You want to wake Candy up too? This got to stop. Okay? Tam Michelle was minding her country business. And you was over there doing Dish Nation or whatever you be doing. Do that, don't do this. This this is not what you need, okay? Anyways, please like, comment, comment y'all. Like I love talking to y'all. Like I be so excited when y'all leave me a little comment. I really love it. So y'all get in them comments and tell me what y'all have to say about this matter. Please subscribe and share. <laughs>